Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpixels.com and here I show you fast and effective Photoshop tutorials to create amazing results. Hi, in this video tutorial I want to show you how you can create something like that. This, let's call it Da Vinci effect. As you can see, we have a glowing background and this glowing uh, text here on the foreground and this here is the original image. It's the Uomo Vitruviano di Leonardo da Vinci. And we can turn this into that by a few steps here. We are only using um, one layer style on this and some, um, yeah. Uh, blur and radial blurs and so on but it's not that bad to do so we have here the original file and what I'm gonna do is I go in there and I copy the original here just to have a backup and then I'm going to press Control, shift and U to turn this in a black and white and now I'm going to uh, add an uh, adjustment layer to this image here and give it a little bit more of a contrast so that the whites or the, the grays are more gray and blacks are more black something like that then I'm going to match these two together by Ctrl Shift and E. Now we have these together as the black and white. Now I'm going to click Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C to copy the pixels of this layer. Then I'm going to channels and I create a new alpha channel. Then I'm going to add the pixels back to the alpha channel here by Ctrl V and then I'm going to invert the image because I want to have the blacks white like this but there's still too much gray in there and to correct this I'm going to adjust the levels by Control L I'm moving the black triangle to the right like this and click OK now going with a soft brush and um, the mode is overlay and the black color I'm going to paint over here just hold down the mouse key and Photoshop will only draw on the selected color in this case black maybe here a little bit get rid of this of the whites here and again over here Okay, and now I'm going to select the white color here and I do the same for the whites so that the whites are getting stronger. Come over here, uh, over the whole thing here, and then I have a really black and white image here. Okay, this should be enough here. <coughs> And now I'm going to control click into the alpha channel and this selects only the whites here. Then I'm going back to the layers here. Oh, we sh first should choose RGB and deactivate the alpha channel. And there we are. This is what we need here. We need a selection of in this case here the blacks and on the alpha channels the whites. I'm creating here a new layer and then I'm going to fill that with white and I'm going to click control and backspace to fill it with the background color. In this case it's white. Then I'm going I have here a new layer it's a, or a new file. I have black background 
And what I'm going to do is I duplicate this layer here, our selection layer, and I'm going to duplicate layer and I bring it to the new file like that. And as you can see, now we have the whole thing in black and white on the new in the new file here. And now I'm going to scale that down and bring it here into the center so that we can a moment let's move it more let's get it down more, a little bit up like that so that it fits into the into the image and in the center and then I press enter and we have it here on our new file now I'm going to add a layer effect here layer style and I want to have an outer glow and here I'm going with uh, screen and I choose a blue color here let's choose a blue something like that and I go with the opacity of 100% click OK moment okay for the color and then I'm going with 100% opacity and now I'm going to add a little bit of a spread of 1% and now I can play with the size a little bit and I go with the size of and uh, let's go with uh, about 30 to 35 pixels and I lower the range to about 40% like that and then I click OK. And to have the effect a little bit stronger, I'm going to copy this layer by holding down the Alt key and dragging this layer up. And then I'm changing the blend mode here to soft light, like that. And I'm lowering the opacity to about 50%. Now I'm going to copy the first layer here by holding down the Alt key and I drag it up to the top and then I'm going to convert this into a smart object so I'm always able to change my filter settings here then I'm going to blur, radial blur and I'm going with an amount of 100 and the blur method is soon and the quality yeah you can go with good or best I'm going with good here and I click OK and I have centered the blur here in the mid middle here <coughs> you can do this by clicking here and dragging it around and <coughs> Now we're going to copy this layer one time and I lower the opacity to about 50%, like this. And now I'm going again to copy this layer here and then I'm going to change the, soft, uh, the blend mode to soft light to get a little bit more of this uh, blurring effect here and then I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm going with about three pixels here and click OK now I have a little bit more of an glowing here now it's time to add a little bit of text. For this I'm going to choose the text tool here, click into my image here, and I'm writing down Da <coughs> sorry, Da Vinci. Press enter and I'm going to scale this down a little bit more. Something like that. Just center the text here like that and this should be okay we can have a look on our original and that's okay yeah now we have da vinci here and we're going to
copy now the layer style of the first layer here. For this I'm going to, with the mouse over this little symbol here, press the Alt key and drag it up to the text. Now we have this glowing effect here. And now I want to add a new layer here in this image on the top. And I'm going with the gradient tool and going with um, white foreground color and I choose this white to transparent here and I want this radial. I'm going into the center here of this circle and we change the mode at first to dissolve and then I'm dragging from the center to the edge of the circle. I'm dragging the line to have something like that. Then I'm going to copy the layer style again from the first layer here to this layer. As you can see, we work with one layer style and just a few blur filters here. And then I'm going to Blur, Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and I'm going with the angle of zero, and yeah, 180 is okay, and then I'm going to scale this down, something like that, bring it up, and scale it like that, and press OK press enter and now I'm going to lower the opacity of the layer maybe a little just a little bit maybe we can we can scale this here by holding the alt key and clicking here on the edge I can scale this proportional in two directions here and there we are this is the my version of a da Vinci effect Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.